Hello everyone. Today, you will learn how to perform multi-level sorting and filtering in Microsoft Excel with just one click using a macro. Watch carefully. At the top of the Excel window, I go to the Developer tab. If you don't have this tab, you can add it. To do this, go to the File tab, select Options, and then click on Customize Ribbon. In the right part of the window, check the box next to Developer. Click OK. In the Developer tab, I click on the Record Macro button. In the dialog box, I can enter a name for the macro. I will write the word Enable. Then I am prompted to choose a keyboard shortcut to activate the recorded macro. This step is optional, but for example, I will write the letter Q. Below, you can specify the location to save the macro and provide a description. I will leave these options unchanged. The recording has started, as indicated by the blue square icon that just appeared. Now I will perform the sorting and filtering of data, and after that, I will stop the recording, and the program will remember the sequence of my actions. This will allow me to instantly reproduce the recorded configuration later on. So, I begin. The configuration is complete, now it's time to stop recording the macro. Done. The only thing left is to add a special button. To do this, I click on the insert icon and choose a suitable form control. After deciding where to place the button, I insert it by holding down the left mouse button. Before the button appears on the worksheet, I need to specify the macro it will refer to. I select my recently recorded macro. The button appears. It will automatically enable the recorded sorting and filtering configuration. Right now, I want to create another macro that will restore the table to its original state. I go back to the Developer tab and start a new recording. I give it a name and come up with a new keyboard shortcut. Again, I want to emphasize that this step is optional. Now, I undo all the settings in the table. I stop the recording and create a control button. This time, I specify the second macro for the button. To prevent the buttons from moving along with the rest of the table cells when using filtering, I need to go to the settings. I right-click and choose Format Object from the Options list. In the Properties field, I select Do Not Move or Size with Cells. OK. Here, I can also change the name of the button. Let's evaluate the result. I click on the Enable button. Great! With just one click, I filtered and sorted the data in the table according to the pre-recorded configuration. 
and by clicking on the second button, I can quickly restore the table to its original state. As you may recall, when creating the macro, I specified the keyboard shortcuts for executing the actions, just like the control button. And as you can see, these keyboard shortcuts work perfectly because I'm using them right now, and the table changes accordingly. Additionally, if I were to add a new row to my table, it would also be included in the sorting and filtering. I intentionally colored this row to make it easier to spot. Everything works correctly, and the new row is displayed after clicking the button. In order for the macro to work each time the document is opened, it needs to be saved in a special macro-enabled format. Choose this format when saving the file, and then you won't have any problems with the macros. If you don't do this, the buttons will not work. Dear viewers, we are approaching the end of this video. Please like if you enjoyed the lesson and subscribe to the channel if you want to master Microsoft Excel. And in the description and in the first pinned comment, you can find a link to provide financial support to the channel, as all lessons are absolutely free. I wish you success in your learning. Goodbye.